Hello, welcome to another Gun and Battle Operation 2 video. That is the new suit, the Jamru Finn. I believe that's how you pronounce it. And uh, yeah, this is going to be the initial thoughts, and I gotta say, I did not expect this suit. <laughs> uh, a few months ago, somebody in the stream, I'll, I'll, I'll know your name if I see you again, uh, mentioned that this would be a really good Halloween, like a potential Halloween suit, and I was like, oh yeah, this is really weird looking, it's right up my alley. Because, uh, you know, I really like amphibious suits, and they're all just really weird looking. This is not an amphibious suit, but the man, it's just, <laughs> you can see for yourself, it's just really weird looking. Really oddball of a mobile suit, and I like that. And, uh, yeah, lo and behold, we have it, and it's actually a support, which also caught me off guard as well. I definitely thought this would be, like, some sort of raid, because it mentions, like, it's a high, high mobility just based off the big Zam, which I believe this suit is is like a offshoot of the big exam it's like a, a miniaturization of the technology or something like that uh so that's pretty neat because you, you can play a little zam <laughs> run around a little zam uh but yeah and, and you know what it's actually a pretty fun suit which uh, i'll get into that here in a bit so or you know you can see these two matches i have two matches here for you on the ground and uh yeah so we'll start off with the stats here it is a level one 500 and uh it has 19,000 health, it has 21 ballistic and beam resistance, you have 16 melee resistance, you have 39 range strength, 11 melee strength, 115 speed, which turns into 170 in mobile armor mode, you have 180 boost speed, which turns into 230 in mobile armor mode, you have 70 thruster gauge, you have 57 turn speed, which turns into 48 in mobile armor mode, and for slots, you have 9 close, 12 mid, and 15 long range slots. As you can see, this has uh, some pretty typical support, uh, like 500 support uh, stats here. So you can definitely tank this up quite a bit. And uh, you can also kind of do some other builds here. You can go for like thruster gauge. You can go for more melee strength. Uh, for me, I went for the a little bit more beam resistance, at least over 30. I went for, uh, I think I believe I got to 30 melee resistance maybe somewhere close to there uh i bu bumped up the range strength a little bit and then uh i believe i got my melee resistance up as well which uh can be helpful if you're fighting some generals which uh you'll see this suit skill wise can actually contend with some of the generals here uh definitely nice so uh yeah like the uh, stats here and the, for your primary weapons, you have the Palm Beam Cannon Times 2, which is 900 damage, 70% heat rate, 450 range. Which, uh, yeah, an instant stun weapon that, you know, can shoot twice from uh, from sniping range, that's pretty good. And it does some pretty decent damage, 900 damage per beam. So, yeah, bump up that, uh, that range strength, definitely get some good-ass damage right there. Uh, <laughs> or at least get a stun, you know, that's a good utility as well, as well as with damage. Uh, and I believe, I think I heard from somebody that it does really, if it hits maneuver armor, it can actually do some pretty good maneuver armor, uh, damage. I mean, maneuver armor, maneuver armor, breakability percentage stuff, you know? So there's that. Uh, and then for your melee weapon, you have the Palm Beam Sabers times two, which is a uh, 2000 damage. And, uh, it looks really weird on this suit because it has those arms just sitting up in front of it and then it pulls out Beam Sabers. So, uh. First of all, the neutral swing actually has some range to it, so you can use that to kind of space yourself against somebody. Uh, the side swings can actually hit twice, and I believe they hit all around you as well, because when it does its side swing, it turns like one of the beam sabers around, and it covers uh, covers its back. So definitely uh, some good utility there. And then, uh, of course, the down swing, which you momentarily or temporarily turn into a uh, your mobile armor mode. And you rush forward with your downswing, and it's a really good downswing because it does pretty good damage, especially if you buff up your uh, your melee strength, which I did. Uh, I, I usually get over 3,000 damage on generals, which is nice. And the best part is, this is a support with balancers. <laughs> uh, so yeah, great weapon here. So already starting off really nice for the primary weapons. Now for secondary weapons, you have the high mega cannon which is a 2,450 damage, you have 70% heat rate, 450 range again, and you can charge it. It does not stun uh, uncharged, but when you do charge it, it does a regular stun, and it also penetrates as well, so that's nice. Um, just the base damages alone is uh, pretty easy to combo with and uh, does chunks of damage, so you can start off with your stun weapon, 
and then go into look at that <laughs> god damn <laughs> so you can start with your stun weapon and then immediately go into your uh, your high mega cannon because it actually has a low ready up time so um, just instant stun straight into that to uh, add some extra damage or uh, you can start off with that if you're with a teammate and then go for your instant stun and look at that five thousand damage I believe I fully charged that so if you fully charge it you do get some good damage out of that so really nice um, weapon the only problem I have is that it has a little bit of a lag time on it it's especially noticeable in space um, usually you can point at somebody and then it takes a moment for you to actually fire the beam it's really weird uh, you, you'd have to play the suit to see it <laughs> it's, again especially in space uh, but yeah I'm fine with it and then for your second secondary weapon you have these small missile launchers which is 225 damage six rounds and 350 range and uh, yeah, they're your typical little missiles. Uh, I believe it takes five out of the six to stun. And as I mentioned earlier, the I think actually I mentioned that the the palm beam cannons might have high uh, stun accumulation uh, for maneuver armor. I believe the 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 high mega cannon does as well. So you can if you don't if you only hit a few of your missiles, I think you can back up with the uh, either of those weapons, which I haven't tested it out yet because. Uh, I simply just haven't fought people maneuver armor enough. Uh, I've been using this mostly at 500. Uh, this does have a 550, and uh, from what from what I've heard, it can do well at even 600, which I can believe um, playing it. Uh, but yeah, the missiles, good little bit of damage there. Uh, you can also boost while using them as well, which that can be really great for your balancers. Like uh, you can rush at somebody, use your missiles, and then go straight into your downswing. So that's really nice. And uh, for your mobile armor weapons, you have the high mega cannon again, which uh, does 1,200 damage, 50% heat rate, and 450 range, and you can charge it. So that means, uh, you know, you can you can kind of spam fire it at people to get the uh, like a quick and easy over 3,000 damage if uh, they're too busy being in a stun lock if your teammates are around, you know. Uh, or you can charge it up, and if you charge it up, you can actually get a heavy stagger. So it has a great utility there, so that's really nice. Uh, so you get the you get the little little bits of damage. There, little bits you do over one thousand, and that's support damage. So you'll be doing like close to two thousand potentially, uh, maybe over two thousand depending on your range strength. So you can either build up damage with that, or you can just go for the heavy stagger. So that's really nice. And then your secondary mobile armor mode weapon is the small missile launchers again, which is four hundred forty damage. Six rounds, 350 range. So you do more damage than the uh, the mobile suit missile launchers, which the mobile suit missile launchers is 225, and your mobile armor mode, again, is 440. And I believe it has the same stun accumulation. Uh, it does have the same range. And, yeah, usually I kind of use them to follow up with the uh, the heavy stagger for a little bit of extra damage, and I go for the ram. Uh, and there I am getting the heavy stagger right there. That was over 4,000 damage. Nice. Again, that is a really good... Uh, damaging beam <laughs> and uh, hey timeout we'll get to the rest of this uh, to the skills here in a bit and let's see good works all around and hey mission completed not really a pose but pose on them anyway because it looks funky and uh, hey top assist and top diversions which makes sense because I am just fucking huge <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and get some praises off especially to the uh, the new suit there the pixie LA and Hitman in second place, 6 and 4, and over 100k damage and over 4,000 individual scores. So, that was a pretty good round. And hey, we got the Airman now here, <laughs> which I, I forgot to give him the yellow arms and legs, sadly. But uh, I, I just, for some reason, that little little middle of the, the chest cannon there reminded me of the uh, of Airman from uh, Mega Man, which you guys know that's my avatar, my PSN avatar, because I like Airman's design. Uh, but yeah. The uh, for skills now you have radar level three, you have scope level two, you have data link, you have aerospace gimbal level two, which also me and James just shot each other out of the sky. Uh, <laughs> aerospace gimbal allows you to tilt up and down further in space. Uh, you have scouting device, which I believe that one is the the parallel scouting device. If you're zoomed in, you can see your radar. Uh, you have and back level two. You have force injectors. A hey. And you have a bunch of buffers. You have leg buffer level one. You have shoulder buffer level two. Head buffer, which I'm not sure if it's speaking of uh, 
if it's your mobile suit head or your mobile armor head, which I want, I might think, I want to say it's the mobile armor head because uh, it is a big part of your body there. Um, maybe it counts both, but either way, there's that. And then you have blast stabilizer, which is nice, and then balancers, which is really good. And oh, I forgot to mention, you also have transformation. Which, uh, and then for that, you do not have shock dampeners, sadly, because supports, they just don't get that for some reason. Uh, but you do, you can ram, so, you know, you can still hit people. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So now, uh, looking like a pretty good suit. So we're going to get into the pros and cons. And, you know, we, we're too busy gushing over the, uh... <laughs> The, uh, the jam roof fin, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, go with the cons first. And obviously, i got to mention the uh, the big one here, literally, is that this suit is uh, fucking wide uh, and big. I would say height-wise, it's pretty big, too, and length-wise, definitely length-wise. Um, easy to hit, <laughs> and that can be a, a pain in the ass when you're trying to peek around corners because uh, your shoulders will come out first because uh, the middle of your body, that's where your arms and your chest cannon is, so, uh, if you're coming around a corner, the first thing that's going to be hit is your she uh, your shield, not your shield, your shoulders. So it can be hard, hard. I said like a pirate, hard. It can be hard to uh, <laughs> to uh, come around the corner and get the first stun. So be careful of that. And uh, that goes in nicely to my next con, which is that this suit does not have any defensive skills, does not have a dodge roll. Does not have maneuver armor and does not have. It doesn't even have damage control either. Um, I, I'd be, I'm fine with this not having shock dampers, but I feel like this thing could have had maneuver armor, especially with the way it plays. I feel like maneuver armor would have really benefited this suit. Uh, man, yeah, thinking of it now, that would have been really awesome. You know, this thing would have, it would have helped make it more of a like a general hunter kind of suit, which would have been a really interesting game style. And I'm kind of disappointed that the uh, the devs didn't explore that any further, um, unfortunately. Which, uh, a little bit after this, I'll talk about some skills I think the suit should have had. That would have made it really, like, just interesting to play. Which it still is kind of interesting uh, interesting to play and kind of fun. But um, I still wish it had some skills that I'll mention later. Uh, another con for the suit is that it does not have shock dampeners when in flight mode. Um, that's just become the normal for all supports. Uh, that can fly for some reason, but it hurts this suit a lot more because it's so big. Uh, I think this really would have helped out uh, this suit a lot for helping it, uh, especially since apparently it's mostly in mobile armor mode more than it, than it is in mobile suit mode. So I think that definitely would have uh, kind of helped people just want to engage more in the mobile armor mode, and it can use their he help people want to use their uh, their their heavy staggers more, you know, try to try to support their team that way, you know, but, uh, I guess we're going to talk about the, oh, well, one more negative is that, uh, you still get fucked up by raids, well, <laughs> it's not really much of a negative, it's just all supports now, you'll still get, well, like, one shot from a heavy attack, so, maybe if you have your, if you just focus solely on melee resistance, maybe you can survive, like, with 1,000 health, but, <laughs> Uh, but hey, I, I put melee resistance on me, and it helps me out a lot when I'm trying to fight generals at close range, which we'll get into the, uh, the pros here. And the pros starting off is that this suit has some pretty good weapons. Uh, they're, they do high amounts of damage, uh, they can combo into each other really easily. Uh, the melee is really good, which is another pro. Uh, quite useful, especially that downswing. A, another pro for the suit is that it has balancers, which is really good <laughs> i wish supports more supports had balancers you know suits like the gals k any suit that's supposed to play like mid-range maybe besides like the juagu since that's like a one-year war suit um a lot of supports should probably have balancers especially at high cost there's some that have like that just randomly don't fucking have it like the the yagdoga qa yagdoga qa should probably have that makes no sense why it doesn't uh but this suit they give it to this which helps it and you know they say it's a high mobility suit which with the balancers can help you believe that you know really helpful uh, especially for tricking opponents you can you can juke around a corner then come up with your downswing or uh, again the neutral swing for this is kind of kind of long so you can uh, walk up just poke somebody with the uh, the neutral swing 
and uh, help you know your teammates get a stun and all that. Uh, another pro is the transformation. Even though I said this thing needs shock dampeners, the the fact that it does have the ability to fly is good in of itself, which I always say this for every suit that can fly, even the supports. The ability to get to a higher place and uh, you know get to a better vantage point is really good. Um, that's nice. And you can ram people for extra damage. Uh, just a lot of useful stuff for the flight. So that's nice. Uh, another pro is that obviously you can see here the, uh, the actually no, I think I already mentioned with the uh, the heavy the heavy stagger, that would count as a weapon. As I mentioned that all the weapons are pretty good. So there's that. Uh, actually, I forgot, I forgot a con. So there is one con with the melee of this suit. And it only has melee priority one. Um, which I guess... I'll go ahead and get into things I wish the suit would have had to make it like really interesting. Uh, this thing only has one melee priority. I wish it had two, so that way it can kind of contest with the generals more. It feels like with the way it plays already, that uh, it's made to just do just chunk generals and just kind of hunt them down. Like I mentioned, uh, a hunt like a general hunter kind of role, which is really interesting to think about because. Um, it has the stun lock potential, it has the damage potential, uh, it has the really good melee. Uh, I feel like if it had two melee priori priority, or maybe even three, it could uh, contest the generals and maybe even outright beat them in certain situations. It can still get beat by raids, obviously, but um, you know it can actually kind of be of a, a scary opponent to, uh, to the generals. Or maybe they could have gave this thing offense system for its, uh, for its melee. That would have been really cool, and again, really unique, because imagine it does its uh, its downswing, it's rolling towards you, it's doing the barrel roll dive bomb with its beam sabers out, and you're trying to shoot it, and nothing's, <laughs> it's not getting stunned, even though it's a support. That would have been a really interesting idea that I think the devs just didn't want to do because it's a support. Uh, there are definitely some really just interesting things. Again, maneuver armor, I have to mention maneuver armor again. Or, you know, they can boost towards somebody. Use your uh, downswing to... Uh, oh, hey, there's the counter, by the way. Really cool. Uh, <laughs> uh, maneuver armor would have helped to get closer to generals, and they can do, like, its downswing. Maybe gave it both offensive uh, offense system and all that. Hey, top damage, by the way. Almost 100k again. And... I'm going to praise Mick, and I believe... Yep, Hitman again. And... Hey, third place. Two and three, but... Uh, I still got that assist score and uh, damage, so yeah. Uh, pretty good suit. And again, as I was saying, maneuver armor. Maybe they could have gave this maneuver armor and offense system uh, to make it a really scary, just again, a general hunter role. I really think the devs missed out on making a truly unique kind of support, which is, uh, again, disappointing to say, but uh, this suit is still fun on its own. It does the damage. Uh, it has the utility, and it's very fucking weird. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I, I do like the suit, and hey, if you want to roll for it, I, I do recommend you roll for it, but just keep in mind that uh, the cons that I mentioned for the suit, again, the suit will be really easy to hit, so you probably don't want to play this on Arctic Base. I can see a lot of frustration happening there, or maybe just close range maps in general, unless you have a good team backing you up. But uh, hey, if you have a good team, anyway, you should you can do a lot of good support general team ups with this suit, as you saw from uh, my match video with this on Desert Map. I teamed up with Merrick and his stamen. He did his downswing. I did my downswing. He was uh, <laughs> got some good damage. Uh, but yeah, so yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe if you want. I'd really appreciate it. And you know, type up in the comment section how you feel about the jam roof in. Do you like it? Do you hate it? I actually really like this suit, both uh, design-wise and uh, how it plays so far. I do wish it could play a little bit, it had a little bit more different skills, like I mentioned earlier, uh, to make it just truly unique as a support, because I, that would have been really neat for it to have, like, the offenses, again, like that general hunter role. Uh, so, I, again, they, they missed out on that. Maybe they can buff it in the future, uh, give it that maneuver armor or give it that damage control. Because I do feel like that's probably going to hurt it in the long run, is it being wide and having no defenses. So um, there's probably going to be some suits that have like large blast radius weapons or 
They'll have just wonky hitboxes, big beams that will hit this thing, and uh, it'll be unfortunately stun locked at some points. But you know, it does. It can back itself up uh, damage wise, not like defense wise, and not like the Zusa. I think the Zusa is still pretty good suit at 500, but this suit's not too far off. I, I think even in some areas, it, it can be better than the Zusa. Definitely like the damage wise, like the the burst damage of this. Also, can we uh, <laughs> Bandai? Can we get another uh? Another model kit of this? I'd like to have it. It's just so fucking weird. Look at it. <laughs> it, it almost... It, you know, that'd be a really good paint scheme is a laser beak from uh, Transformers. Yeah, or, or uh, what's that other one? Sky... Sky Lynx? Lynx? Some of those? <laughs> that would be really cool. Or maybe you can paint it like a bomber jet because it kind of has that same shape going on when it transforms. Or maybe paint it like the Big Zam. <laughs> oh, hey, Big Zam. Oh, hey, Lil Zam. But yeah, so I'm not disappointed in this suit. I, I think I was at first because like, oh man, it's missing stuff because it's support. But what is here is good and I like that. I like that a lot. Uh, so yeah, I'm not I'm not entirely disappointed. I actually really like this suit. So yeah, that's going to be it. And I will see you guys later. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Before we do that, before I say bye, uh, another YouTube creator, Lily Beta, actually made a, uh, a funny little meme video. Uh, from one of my spectator matches, and if you guys don't know what that uh, spectator matches were, every Friday for like the past few Fridays now, I've been doing spectator matches where viewers can join in and they'll play with some of the the soy boys, you know, with our clan, which we're not like a big series clan, but uh, we'll play together and we'll have some matches all the way from like 300 to 700, or maybe some extras if they want to do that. Uh, and she made she or he, I don't know what they are. <laughs> Lily Beta has made a funny little meme video from one of the matches that happened where James was a Bionic Custom in a 3v3 and uh, the enemy team had uh, three Zamels. And yeah, it was destruction. I'll go ahead and link that in the description for the uh, this video here. And you guys can enjoy that and maybe subscribe to Lily Beta because uh, they do work a little bit harder than I do with the, uh, the editing and videos. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's going to be it. And I'll, now I'll see you guys later. Bye.